All right, so this year has been a pretty wild year. A lot of really cool stuff going on this year. God's, uh, he's blessed us with being able to go out on some really cool trips with our family. I'll be uh, showing Matthew how to catch a fish. We knew this was gonna be kind of a big year. Coming into the year, we um, participated in a 21-day fast with our church and just were really seeking the Lord and looking to see what God uh, was going to be doing in our lives, what He wanted us to do. I'm at Apple Hill and I'm going to be going fishing and catching my first fish. Come on. Right now, I'd have to say that God is really calling us into doing probably the most, the scariest thing that he's ever called us to do. There was a good chance that the doctor was going to release me to be able to go back to work. So in a couple of days, I have that appointment. Am I going to be going back to work where I really won't be able to do much in the ministry anymore? I know that if I really truly want to have a good balance, spending time with my family, with my wife, with my kids, while I'm working at the job, that I, I really won't have much time to be able to work on this ministry that God's called me to do. We feel like God is calling me to actually not go back to my job, the job that I've been working at for almost 30 years that has really felt like a safe and secure job. Now, definitely not getting ahead there. I don't have really have retirement. I really don't have any savings, but it's paid the bills for almost 30 years. So I've been there for a long time doing that job and it has felt kind of safe and secure. With God calling us to do something big like that, we knew we really needed to seek God and, and really make sure that we are praying, looking into His Word, hearing for things that He's speaking to us through messages at church, and just make sure we're seeking Him for each step that we take. Also, we felt like we should really go into a time of fasting to really seek Him and really look to Him to find out what we're supposed to do. So we went into a three-day fast and we're really seeking the Lord. Today we're at Apple Hill. We're here for Matt's homeschool field trip. God really just started to uh, speak to me through His Word. I just really felt things just jumping out at me and just really felt like He was telling me that this really is what He wanted me to do. Luke 5, 10, and 11. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on you will catch men. So they pulled their boats up on shore, left everything, and followed Him. Luke 5, 27 through 28. After this, Jesus went out and saw a tax collector by the name of Levi sitting at his tax booth. Follow me, Jesus said to him. And Levi got up, left everything, and followed him. Luke 9, 62. Jesus replied, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. So we came up to High Hill Ranch up in Apple Hill and learned about how many apple trees they have and how old they are, how many pies you can get out of a half a bushel of apples. Met some new people. The weather was just absolutely perfect. We got all kinds of yummy apples that you can't buy in the stores. Matt caught us dinner, so we have two rainbow trout for dinner. Fabulous day. I'm feeling like God is stretching our faith. He wants us to step out of the boat. He wants to make the step in faith and do what He's calling us to do. 
And if we don't, we would be holding ourselves back from seeing him do a miracle, do something that only he could do. Luke 12, 22 to 34. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food, and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable are you than the birds? Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Consider how the lilies grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will he clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? And do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about it. For the pagan world runs after all such things, and your Father knows that you need them. But seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your Father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out, a treasure in heaven that will not be exhausted, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also.